video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up this 2000 Coleman Teos pop-up trail. First thing you do is you go around, undo the four latches holding down the roof. up from the back of the trailer. Just pop it in like that. It's got arrows showing one direction to open, the other direction to close. From there, pull out the bed. beds are the support standards. Pull the canvas around the side of the bed and you do the same thing on the other side. So up and you have the uh, canvas draped around the side of the bed. Finish up on the inside. Alright, move these curtains out of the way. Push the round, uh, round support. Underneath the cushion. This is the reinforcement bar. Pull at the end. Plastic bent through there and into the support bracket. And that's it. Alright, so next we're going to move the uh, dinette, the uh, covers into place. So you undo this holding strap, pulls down the water connectors and the turn it in, turn it over, drops into place. Now you have your sink and cupboards all set up. The last thing we need to do to get everything closed up is put the door in place. So it hangs here from the ceiling. A couple of straps. Undo the snaps. One little clip here at the front. Slap along the track. And up against the side. canvas and then attach it firmly to the velcro. Weather tight and keeps the bugs out. Okay, now we're all airtight. The nice thing about this trailer is it comes with its own built-in stove that it can either use outside or inside. It's on the outside. Is latch closed. It has this little track here that it slides into. A little tripod. Underneath the stove, and then it just hooks into the side of the door. The propane line. So this little push pin right, in, right underneath the trailer. So now that you have it set up, open up the top, put out the sides, and you're ready to cook your dinner. So if you decide that you don't want to cook outside or it's pouring rain, the nice thing with this trailer is it has either the option of having some counter space if you want, but you can actually set up the stove here. Undo this clip, slide out the countertop, pop your hose in, fits into the same track, this goes down to the bottom to connect to the gas. And again, you're set to go. 
we've never actually cooked inside, nor have we actually used this stove because we have our own separate Coleman stove. But it gives you the op options of versatility. You can either cook inside if you want, or you can cook outside. Or you can probably even set it up on a picnic table and just hook it into a 20 pound propane tank. The nice thing about this trailer is all the storage space that you get. So underneath the seating area, lots of room for your stuff. Down here is a hose to connect to water if you go camping somewhere that has built in water. Hose connection for the drain for the sink. And this is also the power cable to plug into. Lots of storage on the other side. You can put your lawn chairs and your other stuff, sleeping bags. And there's storage underneath sink and countertop. Drawers to put your cutlery, plates and stuff. A room underneath here. And it's got a built-in 20 liter water reservoir, so if you don't go to a, a place that has a built-in water hookup, you can put water in there and then pump it through the sink and then it just drains outside. And then more storage at the front. And this Coleman also comes with this cable, so if you're at a park that doesn't have um, electricity, you can actually plug this one end into your vehicle, the other end into the trailer, and while you don't have the use of the plugs, you have use of all of the lights. The next thing I'm going to show you is the dinette set. So again, we have the two seating areas, the two benches. When you're transporting the table, you fold up the legs underneath it. So everything's able to slide over. seat up to four people to have your dinner. Now this dinette set also converts into a bed. So again, if you fold up the legs, move these two small cushions out of the way. accommodate two more people for sleeping. Now when it's time to pack up and go home after your camping trip, in this case we do everything in reverse. Slide the door up, support, the bed. So before you get to slide everything in, Do the same thing on the other side. for your next camping trip.